All right, another boss down. So, I believe we have one more boss left in the snow area. And he is a bit annoying. <laughs> to say the least. So he pushes, uh, pushes you away with that little breath thing. And then you have to damage him with his own lasers by standing near his face, which he's pushing you away while you're standing near him. Um, but have the laser still hit him and knock away his teeth. Which are protecting his uh, vulnerable spot. Yeah, and you can't touch the, the ice there. Because it'll kill you. <laughs> and most times I'm pretty good at getting the first little hit off. And then it just kind of goes to hell from there. Because he the pattern changes. Uh, at first he is actually going up with the little spikes, but then it goes a little bit off. Well, at least it seems to. Maybe it's the same. Um, yeah, I mean, there's always a pause. Uh, yeah, bad. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, in reality, I only need to knock away, like, one tooth. Uh, and I can get an arrow in. I mean, if I can get an arrow in. I mean, there is a lot going on, so... Uh, it wasn't easy. It wasn't too difficult. But, yeah, doing stupid stuff like that's kind of par for the course of this. <laughs> I have to say, you know, actually playing this, um, it's kind of nice to have the the break in between the battles. I mean, I know I've complained about it in the past, but it's nice to be like, okay. I'm good. Got a nice little break. Let's go in there. Let's kick this guy's ass. But as far as the video is concerned, I don't know, I'm not gonna waste you guys' time with walking back and forth. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Two teeth done. <laughs> Three teeth done. And yeah, it's it's definitely not necessary. And see, the the wall of ice blocks you from making a shot. So now I have to get the wall of ice somewhere where it's not gonna affect me and then get my shot in before I get hit by the laser. <laughs> And it's, it's kind of frustrating at times because you're like there. You're like, I got it. I got it. You know, I did what I need to do. His parts exposed, and then ah, I need to get the shot in, and something's blocking me. And ah, it's just you're like so close, so many different times. And then eventually you just get lucky. Or skill, maybe skill, but I'm pretty sure it's luck. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> All right, so I think no, nope, nope, that is the last boss of the Snow World. So now we are going to adventure over to the woods, which, if I'm completely honest, I did not do. <laughs> Uh, this is slightly edited, which you might be able to see a couple jumps here. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Kinda obviously edited. Sorry. Um, I actually made this walk a lot later in the game, because I was like, wait, I don't have a connection, because I went totally the wrong way, and went through a bunch of different worlds and that I wasn't really wanting to do. And I was like, this thing, the forest level is like nowhere near where I originally went. So I was like, ugh, okay. So this is a connection I made later on 
Uh, not after the fact, not when I was done editing, I was like, crap, I have nothing here. I actually was thinking about this while playing the game. I was like, I don't have a connection between the ice world and the forest world. So, I did this much later in the game. <laughs> but, thanks to crafty editing, it's only mostly noticeable. <laughs> I mean, it could be that you know, I restarted the game or took a break or something like that, but eh, just thought I'd be honest with you. I asked you to went through a couple different areas, fought some bosses that were way too hard. Not that you get like more powerful or more bosses you kill or anything like that, but it's yeah, <laughs> the way that or the the guide that I use to help me find some of these bosses, just recommended this be the next area. I mean, you can fight these guys any way you want, it's no big deal. But, this I recommended this was the next level, because it's the next level of kind of difficulty, because they get significantly harder. <laughs> and unfortunately, from the ice world, you can go to significantly harder right away. Ugh. <laughs> But, no. So much fun. It took me a second to realize how to do this, but it's... Quite similar to the... Um, the Q that we fought in the first level. I mean, he's got... He's got a weak point. It turns. Every time he jumps, it turns slightly. So it's just a matter of getting in the right spot, and then timing it for when he lands, and then tripping balls for a bit. It's fun. <laughs> but it's not... I mean, they're all difficult in their own way, don't get me wrong. But... <laughs> and they always love just squishing the hell out of you. <sighs> Yay! I forget what causes that. I think it's the little... That, I don't know if it's either his ability or I'm running into one of the different colors that doesn't actually kill you. Now, I'm very sure that there are some people that can just, you know, do that right away. <laughs> yeah, I'm not one. <laughs> but I did. Seems like. I mean, if I do a compilation of all the monster uh, bosses' deaths in just like one little video, it's gonna be like, walk in, kill him. <laughs> Done. Walk out. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so. In reality, it took me forever to figure this out, and I'm not... Oh, I did leave some of it in. Okay. I'm so glad. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out where this next boss was. That's why there was a little bit of an edit there. <laughs> I didn't want to subject you f through me not figuring this out, because that, that right there is some bullcrap. Because <laughs> I literally tried every combination except going back and forth in the same area. I was like, wait, what? Literally every other combination. I was so frustrated. I could not find this guy. And I was like, oh, you just go to the right and then left and then right and then left and then there it is. Okay, cool. So this guy's kind of a pain in the ass. For a couple of different reasons. Um, the obvious <laughs> is he's very, very painful. He's a nice little pattern, but I was like, what's going on? I don't, I want my arrow, where's my arrow? Oh, there it is. And I, I didn't understand exactly what I was supposed to do right away. That's kind of the point. Um, in reality, yeah, I just got my head knocked off. Not, not creepy at all. <laughs> I 
the, the pattern's very uh, repeated and everything, and there are plenty of opportunities. Eh, those little toxic clouds will just instantly kill you too. You know, gotta have some fun. Got these spiky things that, mm, not too bad. And you can shoot them away too, as you can see. Which I tried doing a couple times and I was like, eh, it makes a wall. I mean, if I go over there and touch that, like I just did, then I die. So it, it's kind of like, uh, alright, so I can either just know the pattern and avoid it, or I can knock them out and then just get killed instantly. So I was like, okay, let's try this a little bit more, and then I was like, eh, yeah, screw it, it's, there's no point. We can, I, I did it just fine dodging these for lengths of time before I decided it was a good idea to knock them off. Let's just go back to that way. So, bam, and then you pull, and it rips his face open. <laughs> It exposes the um, vulnerable spot, and then the toxic cloud kills me. That's <laughs> why the toxic cloud's there, because you can just post up. You're like, I'm gonna get you, but mm, so will the toxic cloud. Bam! Rip! And... Bam. Alright. That's the last boss for the forest world. Pretty easy, right? 